Namaste everyone. Today we'll be working on strength building postures and movements. So let's begin laying on our back for some leg lifts. Lift the legs and begin to engage the legs by flexing the heels and squeezing the thighs as you lower the legs one third of the way down. Point the toes and lift the legs once again. Repeat, flex the heels, lower the legs maybe a little bit lower towards the ground, engage your core as you point the toes and lift back up. Flex the heels, squeeze the thighs, lower an inch off the mat, hover, don't bend the back, point the toes and lift up once again. Find a rhythm as you continue to engage the legs, the core, make sure there's no pressure on your backside, keep the shoulders on the mat and press the palms by your side. Do this several times, maybe three to five rounds, perhaps building your way up to 10 rounds. Make sure you're doing this with the breath and finding strength, stability through your center. Now let's transition into our next movement. Bend the knees and find your way up into a kneeling position for our dolphin pose. Interlace the hands and bring the elbows under your shoulders, forearms on the mat. Begin to tuck the toes and lift the hips up towards the ceiling. And as you create this triangle shape with your body, make sure that your shoulders are pressing up and away from your ears. Make sure that the belly is lifted, navel into the spine, hips high. If you feel any pressure in the hamstrings, give a little soft bend to the knees. Don't worry about the heels down unless you wanna work an extra stretch through the backside of the legs. Hold this five to 10 breaths, maybe working your way up into a minute hold making sure that you're nice and strong, breathing throughout. Moving into some planks, let's place the hands under the shoulders, tuck the toes, and lift the knees. Start to activate through your thighs, your glutes, your core. Press the shoulder blades apart as you push the earth down through your palms. Don't dip the hips and gaze down. Take a breath and maybe start to alternate into low plank, bringing the elbows down under your shoulders. Keep the line of the body parallel to the earth. Let's lift back up. Bring your palms under your shoulders, lift the elbows, high plank. And as you lower, don't dip the hips. Keep solid through the muscles, no pressure in your joints. Find your rhythm through your breath, solid focus through your mind and your body. Integrating this connection, Nice and strong. Feel that fire burning strong through your arms, your legs, and your core. When you're ready, release the knees, take a seat back, and do any wrist stretch to help alleviate those joints and just recalibrate your body. Moving on to the next posture. The next movement will be a combination of dolphin pose and our low plank. So find your foundation in your dolphin pose and take a step back with both your toes. We're gonna inhale, send the shoulders forward into low plank, and exhale, send the hips back into dolphin. Inhale forward, don't dip the hips. Exhale, bring the shoulders back. Move forward, engage the core, push back through your shoulders. Find a rhythm and do this for as long as you feel, maybe five, 10 rounds, maybe working up to a minute, making sure you're strong through the legs, the abdomen, and your shoulders. When you're ready, lower the knees down and take a seat back. Finding our boat pose, sit on both sit bones, extend the legs forward, find balance as you reach the arms to frame the legs. Keep the arms shoulder height, keep the shoulders down. Heart is open, don't cave in. Try not to round your back, squeeze your belly, integrate that core so that you could find stability. Focus your gaze and keep a soft expression on the face as you breathe. Try to hold this five, 10 breaths. Try to feel that fire burning. Maybe lower back into your canoe, bringing the lower back on the mat, toes hover, shoulders, head hover, caving the body. Hold and then lift back up into boat pose. Try this as many times as you can. I hope these poses and movements help create strong bodies, strong minds. Thank you so much for practicing. Namaste.